is Rugo SL40 is safest gun at all. So when I bought it five years ago, but since I own few handguns, I don't think it's safe. Not even close. Let me show you why. First, starting with striker. Once it's fired, the striker pin is stay at firing position until it's cocked. So when you loading. A cartridge it makes little indentation if you look at other handguns like 1911 until it hammers trigger the firing pin like so once it's fired it it goes back Same thing with XD. Has a spring tension at the back. Let's say right here. A firing pin block is blocking the uh, a firing pin. Let's say it's a fire. Let's say right here. Firing pin is sticking out, but soon as it's fired, hit the primer, goes back in. And same thing with Glock. Let's say it's fired. Once it's fired, as you see, once it's fired and loose, like this, going back, back and forth, no spring tension. So, when I was using SL40 as duty weapon, I was carrying for about four years. And then in in LA, I have to load the gun when I'm was on duty, and when when I off the duty, and I have to unload all the ammo, and then put it back in the magazine. And then each time I look at the cartridge, there's a little indentation at the back of the primer. So. Each time I doing that, it just cringe. Like hopefully it doesn't cause off. And then major problem here, and I never seen uh, in a YouTube. Okay, when I first bought this gun, because of this, I thought this gun is very safe because it has this right here, thumb, uh, thumb safe. Okay, now thumb safe is engaged, right? I think it's a safe, but let's say right here, look at this 
this is the sear well this is the sear okay let's say somehow you drop the gun see it it's thumb safe useless if drop the sear goes down okay all the handgun has firing pin block yes but in case let's say you sand and mud got in this here especially SL40 is very loose look at this here look at the gap let's say you're firing firing then you have a little sand or grid or uh, a gunk build up here and then this got disengaged okay like this and then mud got in there this is now it sucked there let's say and then you drop the gun this is gonna happen let's say even thumb safe you put it in there still goes down let's uh, let's look at uh, clock okay if you look at the clock okay there's a little ramp right here to prevent the shears goes down right here it blocks never goes down right here and XD the sear right here will never will go down until you press this right here grip safety so if you somehow you drop the gun never this seal will go down disengaged but but sl40 or sl9 or 45 it's the same same design this is goes down freely right here one thing i like about this gun is very accurate shoots good the grip i have an extra small hand very small hand but it fits really nice even better than 1911 but it's shame that this doesn't have any only safety has is right here this rely on this trigger safety which connected to the fine pink block. Hopefully, Rugo fixed this problem. If is this is sold as or marketed as a target gun, okay, that's fine. That's without this, without you know, all this, like it stop all over. Okay, this. Load it when it's up, load indicator, indicator or oh. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. this cocking indicator. Okay, uh, same thing on this one. Let's say clock. Okay, when it's fired, it's resting back position. But SL40, the same thing. You really don't need cutting indicator. But SL uh, XD, let's say XD. When you fire, it's going, going back to the front. So if you look at this way you don't know it's fired or it's a cocked or not that's why xt has
clocking indicator. But SL40 is same design as a clock design. You really don't need this one. Why I don't like this one? Because I can feel this right here. I even changed to uh, a stainless cocking indicator, but still very greedy, greedy, like uh, scraping in plastic right on the top right here. Not very smooth. Other hand, Glock. When I do this, I don't, I don't have any drag or. Uh, greediness. When I first got this one, in Glock, had a trigger has a greedy feeling, but it, it's scraping right here on plastic part where trigger connector and then side of a a trigger connector. There's a, right next to it is a plastic. Sometime on this gun was greedy, but I fixed it by bending it a little bit toward inward and then turned really smooth. So when I got this one, Glock 21 SF, smooth right at the back, soon as soon as I got it from the factory. But I didn't have any problem. So, get rid of this one and then fix that drop that sear when that one and uh, this one I don't know maybe you can leave this one but the, I really don't like that sear when you drop Even thumb safe is on, goes down. That's not good. 